Now, your KSBW weather forecast with Chief Meteorologist Lee Solomon. Good evening, everybody. We'll take a look at some temps from earlier today. These were your highs. You'll notice it's mostly 70s, a few low 80s here and there. Ben Lohman, 83, 75 Santa Cruz, 70 in Aptos. So we cleared the coast out. Numbers went up. The inland valleys, of course, were about the same, maybe a degree or two warmer than yesterday. 72 Watsonville, 85 Morgan Hill, 77 Hollister, 60s in Moss Landing, and mostly 70s in the Salinas Valley, 80 in King City, a little warmer south of there, out towards the Pinnacles, about 90, and mostly back to 60s, but it was upper 60s. Monterey, 71 at Pebble Beach today, and a 70 in Salinas. So if you had a, a tea time today, you made out, because you know we haven't had a lot of sun uh, out towards Pebble lately. And this evening, your 24-hour temperature change also up by about 5 to almost 10 degrees. So a little warmer out there this evening, again, due to all of that sunshine uh, that has finally come back. A mix of 70s and 80s, 96 in Phoenix right now. As you work eastward, lots of 80s. And then you get to New York and you're looking at 69, while it's 78 in Boston and 76 in Washington, D.C., you go, maybe that's a typo, but it's not because we look at the relative humidity. Look at that, 96%. Now we're starting to figure out the equation, rain. Good old cold front. We've got pockets of it, too. Of course, across the west, it's monsoonal moisture. That's a pretty standard feature this time of year. And we have pockets of showers and thunderstorms in the southeast and then over Lake Michigan uh, right now. And then you can see the front here along the eastern seaboard. So from Boston, New York City, starting to I get those heavy showers with thunderstorms, too, and special marine warnings. And that is a typical summer afternoon here along the east coast uh, where you see those showers and thunderstorms fire up in the late afternoon. They clear the beaches for lightning. Satellite visible showing that clearing that took place northerly winds. Again, mixing the marine layer out, it's still there in terms of the marine inversion. The atmosphere is still set up to bring us low clouds tonight, but we did mix them out for the daytime. Two areas of low pressure. The one down headed to Southern California, that one will dissipate. This guy, though, will actually be a player in our weather right through about Saturday. It's going to slowly meander into Northern California. It may just have enough push that there could be some shower activity, maybe from about Hillsburg North. We'll keep a close eye on that, maybe 10, 20% chance. But, you know, we don't talk about rain very often from a system like this. Sometimes we get the subtropical moisture from leftovers from the deserts, but that's not this time. Uh, 88, Sacramento. So as that low continues to move towards us, we keep the temperatures down. 88 is below average for SAC right now. 76, Lake Tahoe. And a mix of still 90s, middle 90s, and 107 in the deserts. They're not going to see much effects of all that. And we should mix out the marine layer again. It'll reform late tonight, so the valleys may end up with just partly cloudy skies in the morning. And then we go mostly sunny in the afternoon. But you will notice the breeze tomorrow. We've got a pretty strong northwesterly coming in. That helps to mix out the marine layer, but it also keeps that cool air coming in off of the bay and whips up the bay too. Small craft advisories for tomorrow. 52 to 56 areas of bay fog and mostly cloudy inland. So we'll kind of do that summer pattern overnight. Low clouds and fog tomorrow, 60s and 70s. Gusty ocean breeze, 72 to 82 for the valleys and hills. There's not that much of a range in the temperatures tomorrow. 63 San Francisco, 78 in San Jose. And 70s to low 80s Santa Cruz mountains, also middle 70s downsloping winds in Santa Cruz, uh, making for a nice day there. Mid-60s, Moss Landing, 70s taking over, Coralitas, Watsonville. And those should, be, those should be 80s, not 60s. My, my bad there. Gilroy and Morgan Hill, 81. And Hollister, 75. I'll fix that for the late edition at 11. 66, Salinas, 70s, Greenfield, 77 in King City. And then at the coast, it's more 60s, but it's also sunny in the afternoon, but it's breezy. So factor that into your plants. Your KSPW 8-day forecast. Taking you into the weekend with 60s and 70s, fairly seasonable with afternoon clearing at the coast, which is pretty nice. The valleys and hills next few days will mostly see 70s, so we'll call that mild. And then a little warming trend, probably latter half of the weekend into early next week, back to a mix of 70s and 80s. Really kind of beautiful. And then I'll talk more about that shower chance tomorrow. That's north of the Golden Gate. It's a very slight chance, but a lot of weddings, a lot of stuff going on at wineries. Yeah. You never know. Okay. Yeah.